Well, hello, happy Monday. It's Halloween, so I'm wearing my orange Halloween colors. I'm, I don't have a costume on. My costume is Nicole. So anyway, happy Halloween to everybody. And I am reflecting, I'm gonna probably like jump back and forth to the two examples that best uh, represent this topic I wanna talk about, which are um, race and gender, or you know, men and women versus black and white people. But I, I uh, I don't have any, you know, super strong, steeply based, polarized opinions about either of those subjects. In fact, everything I talk about on this um, live thing is really more about trying to find balance and moderation and where the pendulum can swing a little more like this instead of like way over like this. But to talk more to my topic of scorekeeping and the reason why I want to talk about it is that yesterday, uh, I was talking to a guy who we were talking about, you know, he had been dating someone and she had made some suggestive sexual comments and then he reciprocated a week later and her response was that um, she was offended and his response to that was, wait a minute, I don't get it. And, and by the way, this is a lot of the conversation going on between men and women. I don't get it. Like, what am I, how am I supposed to act? What am I supposed to say? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Should I be more this? Should I be less that? Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of men who are feeling this way. And, and uh, I can probably get to that for like another topic for an hour, but that's not really the intention of this particular uh, thing. Anyway, so... Uh, and he said, I don't get it, but you just said the same thing to me last week. And she says, yeah, but I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm the woman I get to say that. And I thought, well, so we kind of talked about what that's about. And I was calling it, you know, phase two of the feminine and sexual revolution, you know, where women, uh, I think anyway, and anytime I say women, I hope you understand I'm speaking from my own experience and not for all women, but I will say things like women in the plural and meaning most women. Um, and I'm open to being argued with. So it's like, it, to me, phase two means like, uh, you know, we want to be the mistresses and, and, uh, of the situation and, and to, to decide. Like, I know for myself, I want to decide, you know, who I want to have sex with or not, what I, how I want to uh, date or who I want to interact with as a man and how he compliments me. And I'm more than okay playing different roles that are sort of blurring gender lines and all that kind of stuff. Now, um, because power is in all of those things, power is in play, power is in intention, power is in structure, power is in roles, uh, if in fact you feel you have power. And this is what I'm trying to say here is that I have the power to blur lines and um, play and act and interact within all sorts of different dynamics and with all kinds of different people because I'm not self-conscious of my power. I remember somebody who was black said to me, you know, the problem with the power and authority is that, you know, white people think that um, if black people have more power, it's some kind of zero sum game that in fact, uh, they're taking it away from them. You know, the black people are taking the power away from the white people. And so, as is typical when I hear comments having to do with sexism and racism, I, I allow it to absorb and I say, you know, and I don't necessarily say like, oh, that must be true because he thinks it and he's black and therefore it's all true for all black people. If I thought that, that for me would feel racist because I'm making this one person's opinion about all people of that race. Or if you make my, my opinion as a woman about all women, that's incorrect and invalid. So, but the point being is that I, I reflected a lot about that and I felt, well, that's because in my mind, we, we're always looking at power like there's, there's some kind of finite definition to it. Like, like there's only, you know, a gallon's worth of power. And if you have a quart, then I can only have three quarts. And I'm here to say power, we gotta stop that scorekeeping, really. It's, it's almost like insane at this point because I know power for me is infinite. No one can stop me from having exactly as much as I want. And usually, usually, not even usually, I would say all, all the time for me, when I'm being stopped from having as much power as I want, it's me. It's my perceptions, it's what I think, it's what I believe about the world, how it works, sex, gender, race, life, love, anything, men, women. And, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be like that. Uh, I don't want it to be like that. And I want, yes, I want a man or anybody to be able to say anything to me. And for me to say, instead of being like, oh, I'm offended. I want to be able to say like, why would you say that? Or, 
why do you think you it's okay to say that or what 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 what's behind that or i want to be more inquisitive and i want to be more curious and i want to be more teachable you know i want to be more teachable about everything so when i sit with someone who's not like me i.e a man when i sit with someone who's not like me i.e a person of color when i sit with someone who's not like me um for example, I'm heterosexual and they're homosexual. I want to know, I want to absorb, I want to, and I want to see everything. It's this like big pool of power that's in this communication of getting to know who we are and what we have in common as human beings, right? And that may sound like Pollyanna-ish, but the truth is, is that's where I'm going. That's where I want to be. And yeah, there's a lot of drudge and hard work and difficult conversations from here to there that I'm willing to have. But I still want to get to that place of like, there's an infinite source of power that's yours anytime you want it. Uh, no matter what your sexual preferences or identity, no matter what your race, no matter what your gender, no matter what, no matter what, I'm a part of the no matter what club. I'm in it, I'm on it, and I want to be full of power for myself to live the best life and to be able to uh, share that with a couple of people to make their lives better. So that's about all I have to say on this scorekeeping thing. Let's stop scorekeeping. Let's look at power as this infinite resource. So hope you have a good day. Happy Halloween. Happy Monday. And thanks for sharing time with me.